So uh, yeah, the uh, Topeka Area Historical Society uh, tries to maintain a record of what happens here. And I uh, found out that tomorrow night might get a special treat because they might open the museum for us after hours when I uh, get back from Fort Wayne, get back from work, and uh, let us see some artifacts that, uh, that's from my family. Okay, here's something we just found. A trophy with my dad's name on it from 1964. Hey everybody, we're here with Harold Gingrich, who is the president of the Topeka Historical Society. He's going to tell us about two of these individuals behind us um, in this, uh, uh, what do you call these things? Uh, it's a senior class pictures. Senior class pictures, okay, from Topeka High School. So Harold, tell us a little bit about uh, this these is the This is the class of 1908 in Topeka, and two very interesting individuals. One would be Jason's great-grandfather's first cousin. There you go. Uh, we knew him as Bishop Edwin J. Yoder, who was an Amish Mennonite preacher, became a bishop. One of the interesting things in this picture, when you look at it really closely, he's wearing a little white bow tie, which I thought was absolutely fascinating because Amish Mennonite preachers, especially when I was growing up in the 1950s, they always wore what was called a straight cut, cut coat. They didn't wear clerical collar like okay. you would see a Roman Catholic priest or maybe a, a Lutheran minister wear. Mm -hmm. uh, but here he is wearing this collar. So he was a first cousin to Ermin Yoder. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and that's the one the other day I told you about created Yoder oil when we walked by his house. Mm -hmm. right. uh, and another member of the class here was Byron Price. Byron Price played a very significant role in American history. He was the director of censorship during World War II. Um, he was appointed by President Roosevelt, ran that office. If, amazing story. Worked for the Associated Press for many, many years, was involved in the motion picture industry for a while, but he was the um, director of censorship. Well, when the war ended, he's out of a job. Ultimately, when he retires, he is the Assistant Secretary General of the United Nations, responsible to oversee the whole UN staff and is the man responsible to oversee the building of the United Nations in New York City. Fast forward into 1963, the Cuban Missile Crisis, which all of us who were living were on the edge of our seats. We were afraid there was going to be war with Russia. And President John Kennedy had persuaded Byron Price to come out of retirement if war broke out and would have headed up the Office of Censorship again. All right, thank you, Harold. I appreciate oh, you're welcome. that. Especially this little tidbit because I just met a relative I never knew existed. Thanks, Harold. Appreciate that. You're welcome. Okay, so here's what I was hoping to see while we're here. And I've never actually seen this before. This is my grandpa's sweater so this would have been 1938 ish somewhere in that frame time frame around the 1930s so this is my grandfather robert yoder's high school sweater <laughs> Well, that's it for this quick visit to my hometown of Topeka, Indiana. Do me a favor and click that subscribe button. I'm heading back to Phoenix to get ready to head over to Europe and to my 16th country. <laughs> <laughs>